Hi boys and girls, it's just Miss Baird here. Now it's very exciting because from now on we're going to be doing our phonics lessons together again. You'll never guess who's come to my house. Red Frog, he's came all the way to Miss Baird's house to help us do our phonics today. How exciting. Now you need to make sure you've got a pencil and a bit of paper ready because we're going to practice writing some of our sounds today. Now, first of all, we're going to start by going through our set one sounds. Are you ready? Now, you have to show your grown up at home how good you are at it. Okay, I'll say the sound and then you repeat it back to me. Ooh, what's this sound? D. D. P. P. B. B. J, J, W, W, Z, Z, U, U, O, O, N, N, V. Remember, I want to see those teeth on your lip. Ooh. Ooh. Try and put your tongue behind your teeth. Ooh. Ooh. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. G. G. We're back to the beginning. Say to your grown up super speedy sounds. Well done, boys and girls. Now, today we're going to practice writing some of our sounds, and I've chosen three. And these are three sounds that we sometimes get a little bit muddled up with. Okay, so my first sound that Red Frog has for us is a D. Now, remember. When we're writing, D, we go around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. Can you pause the video now? Can you show your grown up with your magic pen in the air how you do a D? We go around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. Fantastic, boys and girls. Now, what I would like you to do on your piece of paper, this bed's got some here, look. Have a go at writing a D. Okay, you can show your grown how fantastic you are. Make sure you're going the right way. Okay, we go around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. Remember, make sure you're going down the same line. Pause this video, boys and girls, and have a go. Can you write a D? Well done, boys and girls. I bet your duck was fantastic. Remember, your grown up can show me on tapestry, they can send some photos in so I can see. Now, Fred Frog's got a word for us here. He's talking away at me. Let's see what he's saying. D or G. D or G. What's he saying? D or G. <gasps> That's right. Dog. Can you read that with your grown up? D or G. Dog. Again. Yeah. D -og dog. Well done, boys and girls. Now, what I would like you to do 
and I'd like to pause this video, can you have a go on your bit of paper at writing the word dog? Think about the first sound in it. D O G dog. Off you go. Well done, boys and girls. Let's have a look. I'm going to write dog now. See if you got it right. Hmm, what's the first sound in dog? Let me think. That's right. D. Are you ready? So we go around the dinosaur's bottom, up his tall neck, and down to his feet. That's the first sound. D. Ooh, let's think. Fred, what's the next sound? <gasps> That's right. Off we go. All around the orange. D. Oh, what's the last sound, Fred? D. Oh, G. That's right. Now we go around the girl's head, down for her hair, and give her a curl. D. Oh, G. Dog. Well done, boys and girls. Let's have a look at what our next sound is that we're going to focus on today. So we practice D. What's the next one? Ooh, the next one that Fred Frog has for us is B. Let's remember how we write B. We go down the laces, back up the laces, and over for the boot. Listen again. Down the laces, back up the laces, and over for the boot. Pause this video, boys and girls. Can you have a go at writing B? Well done. Let's watch Miss Bertie if you've got it right. How do we write B? Go. Down the laces. Back up the laces and over for the boot. Fantastic, that's a B. Now remember, with a B, we go the opposite way to a D. Okay, and sometimes we find this a little bit tricky. In case we've got to think about which way it goes. Okay, Fred's got a word for us. You're listening. You ready? B, E, N. What's Fred Frog saying? Have a think. B, E, N. That's right, bin. B -i -n. B-I-N, bin. Should we read that one more time? B-I-N, bin. Well done, boys and girls. I'd like you to have a go now on your bit of paper. Can you write the word bin? You go. Well done, let's find out if you were right. Okay, what's the first sound in bin? But 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 bin. Hmm. That's it. But we go down the laces, back up the laces, and over for the boot. Well done. What comes next in bin? Fred, you're gonna have to help me out. But that's right. I. Down the insect's body and a dot for his head. But I. What's the last sound? But I. Mm, that's right. We go down hobby. Back up and over the net. B -i -n bin. Did you get that one right, boys and girls? I bet you did. Well done. Now we've got one more sound that Fred Frog has given to us today. And this one is the one we sometimes get a little bit confused with too. Okay, because they all look a little bit similar. This is p -p. Let's have a look at how we're going to do a p. Okay, here we go. Down the pirate's plat. Back up the pirate's flat and over for his head. Okay, can you try that in the air? Go down the pirate's flat, back up the pirate's flat and over for his head. Have a go at home, boys and girls, do it in the air. Down the pirate's flat, back up the pirate's flat and over for his head. Fantastic. Pause this video, have a go on your paper. Can you write a p? Well done, I bet that is a fantastic one. Let's see what word Fred's frog's got for us today. Are you ready? P at. What's he saying? P at. P at. That's right. Pat. Listen again. P at. Pat. Again. P at. Pat. Fantastic, boys and girls. Have a go. Pause this video. Can you write the word pat on your paper? Well done, let's see if you're right. What's the first sound that we can hear in the word at? 
Let me think. That's right. So we're going to go down the pirate's path, back up the pirate's path, and over for his head. What's the next sound? Ah, well done. Around the apple and down the leaf. P ah, t that's right. Down the tower and across the tower. Ah, t pat. Fantastic, boys and girls. You have tried so hard today. Well done. And you can join me tomorrow to learn some more speedy sounds. See you soon. Bye.